Wait, there's no video. Hey, everyone, this is Man in the Black Hat. Uh, no video. Yeah, 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 I'm getting to that. There you go. And you still need to do your intro. And I'm obsessed game. Sorry, I couldn't see what was going on. And we're back for more Skyrim with a bit more derp. Plenty more derp. Wouldn't have it any other way. Both of us exclusive to ResaWalkthroughs.com. <laughs> Although, of course, I still maintain my YouTube site as, a, as an ad-free archive. Fair enough. Sounds good. Hey, might as well. Ooh, honeycomb. I don't think I've had the pleasure of working with honeycomb and alchemy before. Nor do I. I didn't even uh, realize it existed in Skyrim. I hope you found the place. Yes, I did, Astrid. Thanks for asking. Well, what happens <laughs> now is you start your new life in the Dark Brotherhood. You're part of the family, after all. This, as you can see, is our sanctuary. You won't find a safer place in all of Skyrim. So get comfortable. Thank you! Mmm. Yes, the silence suits you. Gives you an air of mystery. Now, down to business. I'm arranging a job for you. But in the meantime, go talk to Nazir. He may have some smaller contracts to tide you over. Soon, the Night Mother will arrive. And things around here are sure to get even more interesting. Ah, but one last thing. A welcome home present. The armor of the Dark Brotherhood. Or oh, hi, Aeronautical. Will serve you well in all your endeavors. Okay, so... Now that we're done with that, we've got all the shrouded stuff. Be sure and introduce yourself to your new family aye, aye. members. So I'm going to be able to get the second best suit in, in the game right now, as far as I'm concerned. Nah, as far as you're concerned. Hey, isn't that the only thing that matters at this point? Yeah, pretty much. Don't want the shrouded armor, even though it looks nice. Do want the shrouded boots. Do you oh, want yeah. the shrouded cowl? If you're a thief slash assassin, the shrouded boots will be your best friend. Do you want the shrouded gloves? And I want to keep my chest piece on from the Thieves Guild. Because that was increased capacity, right? Yes. Carrying capacity <laughs> increased by 20 points. So I look a little like an assassin. Sort of. <laughs> I definitely look like a mixture between the two. I'm afraid I don't have a time. <laughs> so let's go listen to their inane story. It, it is a good story. Oh, you're such a pretty yeah. girl. Would the sweetie like a sweetie? Oh, yes. How about some chocolate? Oh, yes, please, kind sir. My mama and papa left me all alone, and I'm so very hungry. I know a shortcut to the candy shop through this alley. Oh, yeah, very good, very good. Mine is dark down here. Oh, but you're so beautiful. Such a lovely smile. Your teeth! No! So <laughs> bad, bad, but you are so wicked. What about you, Festus? How did that last contract turn out? Oh, yes, please, old man. Regale us with your tales of wizardry. Ah, the young and stupid. Always mocking the experienced and brilliant. My contract went very well, I'll have you know. Tried a new spell. Little something I've been working on in my spare time. Came this close to turning that priest inside out. Damned messy. And what of your latest, Arnbjorn? Something about a Khajiit. Merchant, was it? Oh, a big 
doggy chasing a little kitty. How adorable. <laughs> <laughs> I am not adorable. It was not funny, and he wasn't a merchant. He was a Khajiit monk, a master of the Whispering Fang style. But now he's dead, and I have a new loincloth. Ha 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 that's literally calling out to you. Yes, it is. What shot do you have um, for me here? It's Kill actually a pretty appropriate shot. For death. And mark for death is actually useful, so let's unlock it. I actually quite like what they've done to the place. Yeah. As far as all of the, um, what is it, <laughs> uh, sanctuaries that I've experienced in the Elder Scrolls world, I think this has got to be my favorite. Really? As far as um, underground assassin bunkers go. <laughs> True. Let's see. Nom nom nom. Everything that we don't know what it does. Because I haven't done that in a long while. Yeah, because you'd normally eat things that you have no idea what they do to you. In Skyrim, that's, yes. Because that's that sounds very safe to me. Human flesh, human heart. Nom nom nom. Uh, eat a little nightshade because that won't instantly kill you. <laughs> Slaughter fish egg. There's a lot of stuff I need to go through. And Tundra Cotton. The last one, I believe. Yep. So, so you're like let's go talk to Where'd he go? So, for making potions, you mix these things together, you grind them together, and you turn them into a liquid potion. Uh-huh. Aren't you technically sort of doing that by consuming all of them and then mixing them together in your stomach? Um, the way alchemy seems to work in that realm, when you bite into it, you figure out a little bit of what it can actually do. Just a little bit. Yeah, you don't figure out much by doing it this way. But you can figure out at least something that it's good for. I wish it worked like that in the real world. It probably does to an extent. Like, if you have a little bit of, no a little bit of practical knowledge, which you know people in Skyrim would have grown up with, then mm -hmm. you can kind of figure out, based on its taste and its initial effects on you, what it's good for. Like your fingers start turning a little bit invisible. Yes, yeah. yes you're the new family member. Let's make this easy. I'm sure Death Bell and Nightshade are easy to figure out. You start feeling really sick, like you're going to die. But you don't have a whole lot of it. You just have a trace dose of it, and it doesn't kill you straight off. Fair enough. You just realize, hey, wait, that's poison. <laughs> Even though mushrooms like Bleeding Crown, which really do exist, will pretty much kill you no matter what the dose is. So you're the Good to know. member of our dwindling. Yeah, don't try this in real life. I don't have any family. intentions of eating mushrooms What's off the ground mushroom? anyway. Yeah, don't don't try this in real life. You will <laughs> die. The niceties for now. Horribly. Probably. No intention of getting invested in someone who may be. Knowing my luck, tomorrow. I will. If you're still breathing. Well, I don't want any member of the audience to go out and try this, and then I get sued because 
They're next to Ken. Did she now? Claims that I told him to well, go do it. it turns out, there are few <laughs> really, don't try this at home. We haven't had the chance. Yeah, this is your disclaimer then. If you're wanting to make potions in real life, find out what the stuff does in re in real life with a little bit of research first. To be completed at your leisure. Because believe it or not, herbal remedies are well known. These aren't particularly a little bit of research will do you good. I'll be honest. Don't pay much either. But they'll keep you busy. Just do them as you're able. There's no real time limit. The targets aren't going anywhere. You can turn each one in as it's completed, or wait and turn in the whole group when all the targets have been eliminated. Whichever works for you. Well then, let's get started. I've got three available right now. Your targets are the beggar Narfi, an ex-miller named Enodius Papias, and Baytil, a mind boss. When you've completed all those, we'll see if I might have some more. You've got people Yay! We've got three contracts to fulfill, which we're going to do right now. Woot woot. Because I'm going to get as far as I can into this before going on to the next quest chain. Which and then, yes, we, we just skipped right ahead to the location to kill Narfi. <laughs> oh, hi, Niren Root. Well, I believe that uh, Obsessed Games has killed this guy in the daylight before. So yes, have I. I have. It's not difficult. I did it in broad daylight from the other side of the river with a bow and arrow. Nice. And and nobody gave a crap. Uh, I was hidden to be fair, but still. And Narfi's dead. Simple and we gained a level from killing a homeless beggar. A oh. homeless defenseless beggar. In their sleep. Well, it was a gentle way to go, at least. It's kind of a weird way to level, though. <laughs> Usually you level through experience, I'm not sure what, what kind of experience that teaches you. How to kill better? <laughs> How to assassinate better, I suppose. That's all I can think. Hmm. I think for um, the uh, Dark Brotherhood here in Skyrim, you actually, they pretty much force you to meet at everyone at least once in the sanctuary, at least, at least once, right? Um, it's optional. You only uh, really okay. have to meet um, the very minimum required amount of people, which is... One we haven't met yet. We do have to meet. Uh, we do have to meet him fairly soon. One, which is the guy who gave us these missions, and the lady Astrid who brought us into the Brotherhood to begin with. Hi. Coca Cola. <laughs> Product placement. So, yeah. Yeah, I just remember in Oblivion that really you only talk to like three people, but there are a whole bunch of other people that are wandering around that you can talk to as well. Yeah, same here. There's really only three people you need to actually know. All the rest of them you'll meet when you have various missions and just not really required to know them. Mm. I'm just thinking about one of the people you meet later on. We're going to achieve a unicorn here eventually. Just letting you know. <laughs> After many, many attempts. Yes. 
don't want an iron arrow. Or goat hide, or wolf hide. And apparently that wolf was the big bad wolf. He had a bit of gold in him. Well, you know, wolves need to go to the market. They need to get money like any other uh, family in Skyrim. True, but you know... Feed their family. Yeah, but wolves feed their family by eating other families. <laughs> That's probably where he picked up the gold. Accidentally ate a wallet too. <laughs> that's not that's not difficult to do when you're just nomming on a human. Yeah, I can imagine. Eat the human, eat the coin purse. Same taste. What the Oh hi random person attacking me for no discernible reason. <laughs> it happens. Yeah, I don't get why that happens, either. The best part is, this guy sees I'm basically an assassin gear. I look like a Dark Brotherhood assassin, and he decides he can take me on. And you've already got your weapon out. Yeah. He decides today is a good day worried. to make that random person on the street die. Too bad he was wrong. Dead wrong. By the way, insult to injury. Right now. The tea bag. You deserve it, dude. You totally deserve it. Deserves it mainly for his stupidity, to be honest. Yeah. I mean, come on. Sees this guy sneaking along with a bow out. Just killed himself a goat. Be looking very dangerous in his very dangerous gear. And the first thing he thinks is, I can take this guy. With a knife. And magic. <laughs> professional killer, being a professional killer, practicing on the lo local wildlife, and he decides, I can take this guy. Darwin of the Year course. Award, right there. If, if he saw you with a, your summoned sword, then he should have just run. If he saw me whip out the magic, he should have went, oh crap, and ran. In fact, he should have realized that attacking a Dark Brotherhood assassin is usually a death sentence. Well, maybe nobody knows what the... Um, the Dark Brotherhood armor looks like because they always die after they see it. The dude's wearing black and red. How many people in Skyrim do you see wearing black and red? Not too many. Oh! Right through the noggin! How is he standing? <laughs> oh! How did he stand? That, that's Skyrim logic for you. It's only a headshot. It's a flash wound. You've got an arrow through your skull. Yes, okay, I got one last Thursday. <laughs> Free piercing, as far as I'm concerned. What the? Someone Ready is still to to watching Halloween me. Party. Eh, gold lock picks, and he can keep the rest. You mean he can keep the dignity of wearing his clothes? Yes. I don't like his clothes. He can keep them. What you could have done is dragged him into the water and just let his body float off. Yeah, but that might have caused his body to catch somewhere, and then I would have caused poisoning in a place that I didn't want to cause poisoning in. <laughs> It's just a big mess. I'll just leave him where he dropped. I wonder how long until somebody finds him, to be honest. Um, give it a couple of days. Maybe he'll stink long enough that someone investigates. 
Either that or the lo local wildlife will just eat him. Oh, I have no doubt about that. Either way, he's taken care of and I don't need to worry about it. In case you're wondering about the slight drop in quality, it's because this was filmed on the Dazzle Capture device rather than the Halpage Capture device because the Halpage Capture device decided it wanted to be a bitch. And not it work. It wanted to derp the hell out. Oh, yeah. How long did I spend working on that, trying to fix it? Um, a couple of days, at the yeah. very least. Yeah, and wow, what hit this place? I was going to say a dragonborn, but there's only one of you, so... Unless you've been secretly no, demolishing houses. That wasn't me. I haven't been to this place. I usually leave more intact corpses. It kind of reminds me of Fallout, the house, actually. Yeah, a little bit. And usually I'm not this prone to leaving things on fire when I leave. After all, I might want to come <laughs> back and hang out later. Come back, visit. Yeah. Drop by, say, hey, uh, mind if I have a cup of tea or something? Well, no, no. Uh, it'll be my home, technically, since I killed the owners. Ah, uh, yes. The Killer's keepers, that would right? Put a, that would put a flaw in the whole, can I have a cup of tea? It would just yeah. never get made. No, I'd just go and make the cup of tea myself. <laughs> Where's the fun in that? Always have a man slave to do it for you. Well, that's what I've got my summoned art. I've got my summoned hot lady for. <laughs> hey, she'll keep the tea hot as well. Damn right. Play Matronox. Good for more than just combat. Oh! Ooh! That's a reverse unicorn. Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Oh, that's painful. Yes, it is. Mm. Oh, I did not expect that. <laughs> Especially after having watched Prometheus. Ah! <laughs> uh, Which, if you want to see my review on Prometheus, go to the, go to the Rezo Walkthrough site. I give a short, spoiler-free spoiler blurb about it. And with a humorous little image on it, too. I encourage people to watch it. It's really good. Just not for the reasons that Ridley Scott thought it was going to be good. Mmm. It's worth a watch, though. Okay. Because out of everyone I know, everyone's going, Oh my god, it's Prometheus! I want to see it so bad! Well, And I'm the only one who's just sitting there going, Really? I, I have no interest. Oh, really? Darn it. Rock, rock got in the way. Yep. You and walk, walk. good night. Okay, come on. And, oh. <laughs> and die. Oh! Over the horizon shot. Like a pro. And it looks like I did not unicorn that one. No, not yet. Nope. You just gotta keep going. Keep practicing. Yeah, it looks like I got him in the flank. Oh well. Well, I'm not sure if it would count as a unicorn if you did get it. I mean, it's got two horns already. Yeah, it'd be, be adding a another one. So be a... And tricorn. in the flank again. Huh. Oh well. Uh, shouldn't be too much further, and I can go murder myself the last contract. Doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. Pretty much. And what's over here? Nothing. You know, I ought to do that um, Daedric quest that's in this area fairly soon. It's a fun Which one. Which one is that? Um, It's the one about the uh, Daedric Prince of Nightmares. 
Oh! Is that the one where you go into the house with another person? No, that's the that's the Lord of Murder. I'm struggling to remember this one then. There's a lighthouse up at the top of the hill. I don't think I've done it. Ooh, mysterious glowing on the horizon. Hmm. What the... What is that glowing off to the side? I'm gonna shoot it and find out. It could be a whole bunch of Nern root. No? Nern root but... doesn't stop glowing. And you, at this distance, you would have heard it as well. Yeah, especially if it's glowing that brightly. Well, let's find out what's... a bandit? It was a dead body. Huh. I've never known bandits to glow unless I killed them with something luminescent. <laughs> I've never known a bandit to glow on its own before. That is so freaking... oh. Ice raid. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what it was. He was probably eating things, trying to figure out what the hell they did. Ah! And then he died and started glowing. Yeah, that makes sense. Or it could have been the ice raid shooting him with frost. <laughs> that also makes sense. <laughs> Look at this! Yay, soul captured. Oh, nice. Okay, so that was the glow. Gotcha. Well, got to note that down for future reference. Yes. See a mysterious glow on the horizon, there's an ice raid in the area. And then you can either go kill it or run away. It depends on what kind of player you are. Like I run away. <laughs> I just see danger and charge headlong into it. I don't. I strategically reposition and then make give it no chance. I usually give it no chance. It's just I like running straight into danger. Yeah, I find I eat too many health potions that way. And considering I know what goes into health potions, um, you. <laughs> There's only been one instance, I think, where I've charged into danger and then gone. Ah, crap, that was a bad idea. No, oh, hi! Glitch. Glitch rat! <laughs> Come on. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> Talented glitch rats. Mm hmm. And. <laughs> Um, Could not have timed that he tried better. To save, he, he tried to save his, his wife, maybe? That was his <laughs> wife, and he dived in front. And unicorn! Yay! We've gotten our first unicorn. Oh, hi, Brandon. Oh, uh, hi, Jenna. How are you doing? How's your sex life? Yes, I'm going to continually reference that because I can. And, and there's no better reason. That, that's a good enough reason. Uh-huh. Because I can is always a good reason. Because I can. This will also get us to Dawnstar, which is... Uh, there are several other quest lines that require our presence here. Uh. The Dawnstar Daedra quest is one. One of the Civil War quests happens here. And I do believe that two of the Dark Brotherhood quest lines wind up here. You know what's interesting? Hmm. Nearly every time I come here, there is always a goddamn dragon. Really? I've yeah, been really lucky in that regard. 
Dawnstar just isn't attacked places, that much. The two places where I always come across a dragon in terms of town, mm -hmm. towns, uh, here, Dawnstar, and technically inside the college of Winterhold. Really? Where it just drops into the middle of that circle. Huh. And starts breathing fire at you or, or ice or whatever. Oh, look, she's a slurp. You've gotten pretty lucky with your timings. They've always been asleep. I know. No, 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 wait. No, the last guy wasn't. Sorry. Although I have had really good luck at killing her while she was awake, too, so go figure. Oh, yeah. I killed everybody while they were awake. So have I. It's, it's one of those things where I prefer to kill them while they're helpless. I mean, who doesn't, right? Nah, fair enough. Can't argue with that. Besides, look at how much more money I'm getting out of this deal than if I'd just gone and killed her during the daytime. Nothing could have stopped you from, uh, from coming in just after you killed her, steal everything. Well, true, except for the fact that I would have just gone straight back to the assassin sanctuary after this. Mm. Wow. Look at that. Wait. Where'd the arrow go? <laughs> what? <laughs> um. Uh. I want to know. I think it's time to leave now. Yes. Probably best to leave. I'm, I'm going to continue. I'm going to finish raiding your stuff and then get the hell out of here. Cause wow, I I um I really don't want to know who her boyfriend is and what tribe of giant he's from. Is that it? Nothing more. Okay. I don't think she'd have much. Well, she is a mind boss. But it isn't too great of a mind. Well, you know what they say, a mine is a terrible thing to waste. <laughs> so, okay, that should be it for that quest line. And now we'll get introduced to the third character we need to know. <laughs> He's actually rather interesting, even if his voice is annoying. It is her voice we follow, her will. Ah, oh, he creeps me out. Disobedience. Creeps me out, man. And surely, punishment? Keep talking, little man, and we'll see who gets punished. I'll be quiet, you great lumbering lapdog. The man has had a long journey. You can at least be civil. Mr. Cicero, I for one am delighted you and the Night Mother have arrived. Your presence here signals a welcome return to tradition. Oh, what a kind and wise wizard you are, sure to earn our lady's favor. You and the Night Mother are of course welcome here, Cicero. And you will be afforded the respect deserving of your position as keeper. Understood, husband? Her. Oh, yes, yes, yes! Thank you, thank you, thank you! But make no mistake. I am the leader of this sanctuary. My word is law. Are we clear on that? Yes, mistress! Perfectly! You're the boss! Ah, there you are. Good. I was done speaking with that muttering fool anyway. We've got some business to discuss. Okay, what's the contract? I do indeed. You must go to the city of Markarth and speak with the apothecary's assistant. You'll probably find her in the Hag's Cure when the shop is open. The girl's been running her mouth. Wants an ex-lover killed. She's apparently performed the Black Sacrament. Her name is Muiri. 
I need you to talk to her, set up the contract, and carry it out. Anything else? Just do whatever the contact wishes. Be professional, represent us well, and get the job done. Since it's your first contract, I'll let you keep whatever Muiri pays. She'll be generous, I'm sure. They always are. So, do you know the backstory behind poor sweet Cicero? <laughs> I I remember the backstory vaguely. Yeah, he used to be um, one of the top assassins for the Dark Brotherhood. And then and he shadowed a jester. Brother. Good. And the jester was like I laughing until the very end. Mill. Yeah. Those Wasn't he? And yeah. And, and Cicero respected that. No, it was the and fact that the way Cicero tracks his targets well is to get into their heads. To know where they're going okay. to be before they do. Of course and is. he spent too long My undercover. Business is extremely cutthroat. And those hours. So he Dude, basically I went insane. All day. <laughs> yeah, Cicero is the Joker of this group. Congratulations. Yeah, you caught in a dark alley. Like if I had a choice between a dark alley with Cicero and a, jo a dark alley with Joker in it, I'd pick the Joker every time. Here's your payment. Yes. The Joker is only partially likely to kill you. Go on now. Cicero is so very likely to kill you. Incredibly likely. Of course, both would just find it funny. Okay, do I have anything more I need to... Oh, hi. I'll take that soul gem. And that seems to be about it. Do, 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 do. Oh, yay! The unusual gem. I've never oh, found all of those, that. but hey, you never know. Ugh. So there's that. I do plan to get the DLC, just not right now. It's one of those it can wait kind of deals. Yeah. There's too much stuff coming out it's too soon for me to start thinking about DLCs for this yeah. game. Although, from what I've heard, the DLC is excellent and actually fixes some things that were only partially completed before. Interesting. Like the whole vampire thing and the Dawnstar people. Yeah. Yeah, you can actually side with the Dawnstar people now if you want. Not Dawnstar, whatever the group is that is the Daedra Hunters. I'm trying to remember. Ah, uh, jeez. I will probably run into them a little later on. Yeah, they're kind of creepy. Just a little bit. But, but you still? can you can actually intentionally become a master vampire. And apparently vampires and werewolves have their own tech trees, so go figure. Okay. It's not just something that gives a temporary boost anymore. So I gotta uh -huh. wonder if it's possible to contract uh, vampirism and then become a werewolf. But, um, I found no use in being a werewolf, to be honest. I found a use. I was less powerful. I actually found a use. 
It makes you completely oh. immune to diseases. Well, I was Argonian. Ah. So I didn't really need that. Yeah, I usually play some variation of human or a Khaji. I typically tend, well, I mean, I usually choose Argonian because immune to diseases and can breathe underwater. Yeah, those and are the handy. fact that you could breathe underwater was really useful in Oblivion. Yeah, I bet. Even in Skyrim, it's pretty damn useful. Really? I, I've i not really found much use for it. You can it get certainly... to just about anywhere you want using the waterways. Mm, it helps. It certainly does help. But I wouldn't call it, like, very, very helpful. I mean, there were a couple of quests, key quests, in um, Oblivion where um, it helps so much to be able to breathe underwater. Oh, but I've never actually finished Oblivion. Really? Yeah, really. I, I don't, I'm not surprised. I, I don't think many people have, to be honest. <laughs> I finished Skyrim, but Oblivion just bores me. Oh, and good night. Mm -hmm. Dude never stood a chance. Nope. Oh, he's the drug dealer. I'll take all of his drugs. <laughs> Might yeah, as well. Um, I mean, after finishing Oblivion, I was kind of expecting so much more out of Skyrim. What? It didn't because deliver? Because of how long Oblivion was. I'd say Skyrim delivered in insofar as its storyline goes. Really? I always found it, like, I always found them to be a little, the storylines, the quest lines, each of them to be a little bit too quick. Yeah. It's the so overall experience, personal. though. In Skyrim, at least, <coughs> in Skyrim, it's pretty clear from one direction to the next where your quest chains lead you. You don't go out and and suddenly go, Hey, where's my next quest chain? I have no idea. That's one of the problems I had with Oblivion, actually. Uh, that sounds about fair. Because you'd get done getting, uh, getting the future Emperor to his safe hidey hole, and then... You're just supposed to investigate the Oblivion Gates. You're not really given a concrete thing to do after that. I'm trying to remember specifically what was meant to be done after that. Um, I know there was this long quest chain that you were supposed to do at that point, but it's like, here, go start in this vague direction. Gee, thanks. Honestly, it's been so long since I've completed it. And of course, the more Oblivion Gates you shut down, the more Oblivion Gates there are. Yeah. So it's actually Although to your what... benefit to not go and attack the Oblivion Gates. But what is fortunate, well, sort of fortunate, depends on your point of view, is... um by the end of the game, if you do finish the game, then all of the Oblivion Gates just shut down. No more Oblivion Gates. Forever. This is true. However, it's still very much a case of, you know what? I could have done without this whole anti-leveling system. <laughs> Where you're actually encouraged to not level and to not ever go into an Oblivion Gate if you can absolutely help it. Oh, trust me, I did not go into an Oblivion Gate if I could help it. I played that game so long ago that those gates, at, when I played it, those gates creeped me out. Hmm. Huh. There's no one up there to trigger those, so I guess they're, um, script activated. Yeah, it must be. Either that or they they're very good at hiding trip wires. 
Hello, because normally tripwires are very obvious pieces of rope. Yeah, and there's no tripwires across the path. Not even any broken ones. And there's no flagstones that are very obvious flagstones. You mean the ones with symbols on them that basically yep. say, Hey, step on me for a trap. Pretty much. I mean, first time I saw one of those flagstones, I was like, Huh, that's a trap. Yeah... And it's pretty obvious right from the get-go. I don't know why, but, but you again. know, to me, if they're going to set a flagstone trap, it really ought to be something subtle. Like, you have to discover that that's what, it, what actually set it off. That way you can mm. note it down for future reference. Rather than, oh, hi, Giant's Flagstone Trap. And then you also have the metal ones, which honestly are a little bit more subtle, but still quite noticeable. Yeah, especially when the metal bit is seriously out of place. <laughs> Rather than just, oh, hi, Spider. Oh, hi there. <laughs> Goodbye, spider. That was a beautiful Fusro Da. Isn't it, though? Let's see what you got. Three gold. Huh. Well, I'd say that's enough for this time, so this is Man in the Black Hat. And Obsessed Games. We'll see you next time for more Let's Play Skyrim on ReservWalkthroughs.com. Later. Adios.